Hi guys, Mike here. In this video we are going to have a look at function binding to a UMG button on clicked event in C++ and how to use the UMG native construct function override to add the dynamic function binding. So let's get started. So in the editor, let's start by opening up our BP text widget blueprint that we created in the previous video. So let's start by adding a button. So we add the button, put it in the middle, make it a bit bigger, and make this a variable. It's, it is a variable, and let's call this text btn, and maybe put a text in there, make the text black, and maybe just call it execute. And then let's go to our C++ code and change our text widget class and add that widget binding to the button. So let's just copy this. And instead of a U text block, it's called a U button. And we named it text btn like you remember. The name has to be the same that it is defined in blueprint. So we called it text btn and made sure that it's a variable. That's important. Let's compile this here, save it. Let's head over to our graph and you can see our variable is still there. And then let's just compile our code. And then you should see that once it's compiled and we head over, this text btn disappears. So now we successfully created a widget binding to our button. And now comes the meat of the, th the things. Now we add our function for the unclicked event. So let's go to our code. What we need to do for this is use the native construct override. So like you've seen with constructors and the construct method in Blueprint, the widget has a similar thing. It has a construct and a pre-construct. So what we can do in C++ is we say virtual void native construct and override this. There's also a pre-construct, a destruct on initialize. So while this is constructed, let, let us then add that binding. And one more thing. So we need to implement this, of course, Alt-Enter. And what we want to do is we want to add a dynamic function binding to the unclicked event. So we need a function for that. And this is needs to be a U function, but without any parameters. And let's call it void, what we call the text btn on clicked, for example. implement this and let's do this with the button. So let's copy this and inside let's check if text button is valid. And if it's valid, let's say text btn and we need a include for this. So basically what we need to do is it has the on clicked event. And you can see that it that writer automatically included the components slash button.h. This is the stuff that you need, the, the header file that you need for the text button, like we did with the in the previous videos, the stuff that you need to include. If you will change the text block in a second, we also need the text block.h. So for now this is what you need. And then the unclicked event has a add dynamic function. And what this needs is like a function pointer. So first we declare where it is. So we are using this class, so this pointer, and then we specify a pointer. So a pointer or a function pointer is nothing more than the, the reference to it. And it's the function or the class name, colon, colon, the function name, that's the function pointer. And this is the way how you specify it. And then once the button is clicked, 
this function is called an executed. So the way we can test this is just change the text widget that we used, set the text to a different text. So let's say text label and the text block has a function called set text. And then it needs an F text. So what we are just doing for now, I will cover this more in, in future videos that are real coming soon about the strings, the three string types in Unreal. So, but for this purpose, let's just do this like this. So we are using a static function from the F text and as number, and we put in the value 17. So just we are converting our number 17 to a text and set it to the label. So like I said, I will cover more about this in the future, what the difference between a string text and a name is and so on. But for now, for the purpose of this video, just imagine this, that this function converts the number 17 to the text and sets it in the text block. So let's compile this. And once it's compiled, head over to our editor and test this out. So inside the editor, like remember, we are using the game mode to create the widget and add it to the viewport. So once we hit play, we have our text block and now we have our button and you can see the button has some issues because we have the anchors messed up. So, but let's test this first. So once I execute the button, it changes to 17. So our function binding works. And what we can do here is go to our designer, select our button, do the anchor in the middle and compile, save it. And then it's in here. So we can click the button and it changes to 17. So this is how function binding in UMG works in C++. You just need to add a function, dynamic function binding to the unclicked or other events that the button has. It has a lot more button uh, events. You can add functions to these. We just used unclicked that you can see how this works in general. So that's it for this video. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments. I tried to explain everything to the best of my ability, but if I didn't or things were unclear, feel free to ask and I will gladly answer any questions you might have. So I hope you enjoyed this video and please leave a like and sub if you did. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.